thank you all for coming so much. Um, it's great to be here. Uh, my name is Lior Benchorin. I am from Cupertino, California, and I'm a graduate of UC Berkeley. I know there's some Cal people out there, right? <laughs> thank you. I'm currently working at the Brookings Institution with Bob Einhorn and Steve Pfeiffer and my most wonderful friend, James Tyson. Um, the issues that I'm focused on are Israel and the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the Nuclear Security Summits, I wrote a piece on the Open Skies Treaty, if anyone's still interested in that. Um, and I'm just really honored to be here today to carry on the legacy. I never thought I'd be working on nuclear issues, but this one year has completely changed my life. So something's working right. So thank you all for being here. What a crowd, the week of the Nuclear Security Summit. Thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Taylor Brooks. I'm currently working at the Carnegie Endowment uh, with uh, uh, a, a great crew over there who have just initially begun to start a cyber policy initiative. Uh, my background is in international law and uh, cyber law specifically, so it was a perfect place to learn and get cut my chops on uh, nuclear issues as well. Um, it's been a fantastic six months so far. I've gotten to tr uh, travel. Uh, I went to Korea to, uh, with a, a bunch of think tank uh, uh, young professionals. I've been hosting, uh, help, helping to host diplomats and hold bilateral discussions. Uh, I've learned about nuclear issues. I'm going to go present at uh, STRATCOM uh, in, uh, in, uh, for the Pony uh, conference coming up here next week. So it, it's been an unbelievable experience for me that something that I never uh, uh, thought that w could be possible and that has, Scoville has made possible um, to bring a uh, Nebraska boy out to D.C. So thank you all for being here. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Phillip and I hail from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I am currently working at the Arms Control Association under my amazing supervisor, Kelsey Davenport, who is an alumna of the fellowship and also working with two other incredible alumni, uh, Daryl Kimball and Kingston Reef. And I'm also joined this evening by Shervin Tehran and April Brady. So I wanted to give a shout out to all of them because uh, ACA really is one of these fantastic organizations that Ambassador Sherman mentioned, so I think um, I'm very grateful to be working there. A bit about my background, I went to the University of Illinois where I studied global studies and psychology and wrote a thesis on arms control, but what really inspired my career was a deep interest in the North Korean nuclear issue that I began to cultivate as an undergraduate which led me to a Fulbright scholarship in South Korea where I had an opportunity to learn about the culture and learn about the language, but also teach both South Korean students and North Korean refugees who were living um, in the South, luckily. Um, so after the Fulbright Fellowship, I was lucky enough to be chosen for this fellowship, for which I'm very grateful, and come to DC and continue to work on the North Korean nuclear issue at the Arms Control Association. In terms of my work, I research and write for Arms Control Today and our blog, Arms Control Now, which is nothing short of a dream come true because um, ACA's resources were something I turned to all the time when I was first starting to learn about these issues. So it's, it's really incredible to me to now be one of the people who's creating and sharing knowledge on this issue. And I have to echo what Charlie said. I have to pinch myself that that's even a possibility. So I, I want to say thank you for this fellowship. I'm so grateful um, to be a part of this community, not just because it's so intellectually stimulating and I'm surrounded by such impressive people, but I truly feel that this is a very joy and love filled community and that all of us who are here working on it are, are doing it because we're passionate, but it also comes from a strong desire to give back to all of mankind and show our love for each other. So thank you. All right, you're close, two left. I'm Hannah Hagland. I work at the Stimson Center in the South Asia program. And I think probably what you'll see is common among all of our little testimonials today is that we're all incredibly grateful just to be here. Um, for me, the Scoville Fellowship uh, took me out of a sort of confused background, like many people. None of us are from D.C. We didn't grow up in this world. Um, and it gives you a crash course in 
exactly what we came here to work on, which is peace and security issues. So for me, that was specifically working on nuclear security in South Asia. And I am at um, probably one of the preeminent places where you can work on that in the think tank world. Um, so like my colleagues here, I want to echo that Paul's amazing, and we don't have to clap again for him because I'm sure he's horrendously embarrassed that we all keep <laughs> mentioning his name. Um, <laughs> And with Paul, the board, um, and the Alumni Association, they've all been very involved in our lives. So we, we all have two mentors. I don't know if you know that about the program. One is a board member, and one is a Scoville alumni. And they give you advice when you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> so that's been nice. Um, and then at the Stimson Center, I just want to say thank you to my team. Um, this community is one where people baptize you by fire in good ways. I think I thought my learning was over after I defended my thesis in grad school. I thought I'd come to DC and do things. Um, but I found that people in the arms control community are always learning and um, very often also getting to do things. So that has been an amazing opportunity. So thank you to all of you. <laughs>